So since leaving the House of Commons last year, David's taken on a very interesting role. He became executive chair of the Resolution Foundation, which is a non-partisan think tank that works to improve the living standards of those in Britain on low or mid middle incomes. Uh, it's a non-partisan um, uh, organization, but I think it's fair to say that some see it as a bit of a thorn in the side of the Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne. It's repeatedly highlighted via its research the actual distributional consequences of uh, some of the government's main policies, particularly in relation to tax credits. Uh, it's not become less critical of the Conservative government since David became its executive chair. And if you read its coverage of last Wednesday's, Wednesday's budget, I think that becomes very clear. So this is all very interesting. Uh, so we have here tasked tonight with exploring some of these issues is Professor Andrew Gamble, a uh, long-standing professor of politics in this university, a former pro-vice-chancellor. He went to, to Cambridge to become a professor of physic, uh, politics there. Uh, he, sorry. <laughs> It's the only subject that matters, clearly. Uh, he's now, I, I, I can't really believe he's in semi-retirement, but he's back in, in Sheffield as a professorial fellow in Sperry, and uh, I'm, I'm sure he has many interesting questions to ask Gert David. So I hand over to you, Andrew, to invite you to begin the conversation. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>